and welcome to the presentation for GCSE French. Um, if you're considering taking French as a GCSE uh, into years 10 and year 11, then everything we will be covering in this video should help you to decide on whether French is the right option for you. So first of all, then we'll have a little look at the course outline and expectations. OK, so you will have four units, unit one, unit two, unit three and unit four. Each unit will contribute 25% to your final overall grade for French. So the first unit we'll be looking at will be unit one speaking. And in that exam, you will have a two minute role play. You will have a two to three minute discussion of a photo card. And you will have a five to seven minute discussion of general conversation with your teacher. In the unit two exam, it will be a listening exam. Again, 25% of your final grade. And you will have to listen and respond to questions in both French and English. Unit three, which is the reading paper, you will also be contributing 25% to your final grade. And that will require you to read and respond to questions in English and French, and also complete a translation from French into English. And unit four is your writing paper. Again, 25% of your final qualification. You will complete two to three writing tasks in French. And you will do a translation from English into French, the opposite to the one you've done in Unit 3. At the bottom there, I've got foundation and higher options are available. And pupils can mix and match to suit their linguistic strengths. OK, so some people might want to do foundation speaking, higher writing, foundation reading. It's up to you how you mix and match them. And it's to best suit your linguistic strengths. So let's have a look then at what we will be studying throughout the course. So first of all, identity and culture is the main topic. OK, so let's have a look what that will entail. So you've got the topic of family and friends, the topic of relationships, topics of social media, music, cinema and TV, sport and leisure, festivals and traditions and food and drink. And they will all come under the big topic of identity and culture. The next one will be Wales and the world. And under that topic, you will study where you live, France and French speaking countries, the environment, holidays and tourism and social issues. And the last one is employment and the world of work. And under that topic, you can expect to cover your studies, your life at school, education after GCSE. So, for example, college, university and jobs, careers and ambitions. OK. So there is such a broad range there of topics that throughout years 10 and year 11, you will be covering a lot of different things. And that seems to be and we'll go on to what year 11 say about the topic in a minute. But that seems to be what attracts people to French is such broad, diverse topics that we that we teach. So why study French then? OK, some, some ideas as to why it's important to study a language. Better communication. OK, it teaches you communication skills and it teaches you communication skills on a variety of different levels. You talking to your teacher, you talking to peers, you talking to strangers if you go to France and you're making new friends. OK, so your communication will improve. Better memory. It's said that people who study languages tend to retain information and have a better memory. Improves your English. Um, learning a language sometimes can help you with the simple everyday English strategies that you might not be that good with. Um, and English things with grammar, you're doing them in French. Therefore, you can apply them to English a lot more easily. And people who usually study a language tend to have better English grades as a result. Cultural awareness. So being aware more of what's going on around you and other countries in the world and having a, a clue as to what other cultures uh, entail. Easier travel. OK, traveling abroad somewhere and being able to communicate in that language, whether you're traveling for work, whether you're traveling for pleasure. Either way, you being able to communicate into the language of the destination you are going is hugely beneficial to you. Improves logic. OK, quite a lot of things. Um, and you'll know this from your current languages lessons. A lot of things require you to build things up. They require you to. It's like a big giant puzzle and you're putting things together. You're building sentences, you're putting tenses, persons, you're agreeing adjectives. All of those things help with logic. Um, improves career prospects. If you can offer a company. Um, another language, whatever that language may be, French, Spanish, Italian, if you can offer them another language, nine times out of 10, that's more beneficial than any other training that you've had, especially now given that, you know, we've left the EU and therefore we are needing to make trade deals 
with these countries. Having the ability to speak that language is going to be massively beneficial to you in your future career, whatever that may be. And opportunities for combined degrees, being able to do French with another subject, again, is giving businesses or whatever career you want to go into, showing them that you've got all of those skills that I've mentioned on the previous on the previous pictures, and also being able to say that you can do something else with a degree, offering your employers more, okay? Um, so career opportunities then. People always say to me, Miss, what can you do with French? What can you do with Welsh? What can you do with Spanish? So let's have a little look then at these career opportunities. Things like translators or interpreters, okay? So being able to translate for a company. You might be translating a text for a business. You might be on the phone taking a phone call from someone. Journalist, broadcasting, okay? Doing things like broadcasting journalism. Being able to be sent to a particular country and being able to recite back or communicate with the people that you need to interview. Engineering, okay? Really, really popular at the minute. People, and especially for people studying STEM and girls into engineering, there's so much out there at the minute to encourage people into fantastic careers like engineering. Being able to speak a language, a lot of these businesses get their products from abroad or they will get people in from abroad to speak to them, etc. So having a language could be so important. Law. Again, in law, there are certain documentations. There are people living in, in our country, in Wales, who speak French, who would like to communicate in French, who would like to do um, their court cases in French, for example. You being able to discuss that with them and being able to show them that you can speak and understand that language, hugely beneficial. And things like sport, okay? If you want to go and be a professional footballer and you've just signed to Paris Saint-Germain, they are going to be looking for you to have that ability to communicate in French, Diplomatic service broadcaster I've mentioned, armed forces, okay, tourism, education. You probably look at us and think, oh, they teach languages. That's the only job I can do with French. It's a very rewarding job and it's a fantastic job. But there are so many other opportunities out there. Marketing. You could be working for a company like L'Oreal and you could be working in America designing and marketing for them. But actually, the brand and the fundamental core of that product is French and France. So having that ability to communicate with that would set you in good stead. And public relations, okay, PR. We rely on PR a lot in different businesses, different organizations, okay? So being able to offer something like that to public relations would be hugely beneficial. So let's have a little look at then what past pupils have said about the subject. Student one has said, we explore different ways to learn the language and it's not always written work. We use Quizlet and a range of other websites that are quite fun. Student two says, I enjoy the fact that there are smaller classes which allow opportunity for class discussions and everyone is involved. I enjoy learning new vocabulary through games. Okay, you'll tend to find when you pick your options that they are smaller classes. So therefore, you get more time in which to discuss things as a class. You get more time in which to get involved in things. And student three uh, said my favorite topic to learn about was festivals in France it gave me such a good insight into the country okay um, and so I'm going to leave you with the thought of French is a fantastic option for you to study at GCSE it gives you so many opportunities for your future education for your future prospects careers aspirations whatever it may be um, and I think you should really consider French more importantly than anything if you enjoy it because part of the reason why some people succeed so well in French is because they do really enjoy the subject. And you need to enjoy it because it's a lot of work. It's hard work. But if you enjoy it, that's half the battle. OK, so uh, thank you all for listening. Um, good luck. If you want to contact myself or Madam Jenkins about uh, the option to ask about anything in any more detail, feel free to drop us an email.